And I'm doing a mini haul video today. It's the first on my channel. It just means I'm developing. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, so mini haul video. Um, in the last month, I would say I've not had too much money and I haven't shopped in such a long time, but I like getting the little knickknacks. Um, so let me start with a few things I picked up. This right here I got from Jamaica, from um, like Jamaica and New York, not Jamaica, Jamaica, like Yaman. No, oh, that was bad. Yeah, anywho, anywho, I got this from Jamaica. Um, I was just walking around and I literally dragged my friend. And I'm like, I, I, I want to go shop on the streets in Jamaica because the streets in Soho, I feel like they were ripping me off. Yeah. So I wanted to go to Jamaica. It's closer. It's one bus away. Whereas Soho would be a bus and on a train. And I'm not even, after the whole Osama Bin Laden thing, I don't like taking the trains. <laughs> I'm a chicken, yes. So anyway, um, this was only $5. And the lady selling it was actually Nigerian. I remember like three years ago when I came to visit my uncle here. I went to the, um, Jamaica for a movie, I think. And I saw her. And I was like, oh, and I picked something up from her, I think earrings. And she was so sweet. And I asked her, you know, I was like, where are you from? She was like, um, Africa. I'm like, yeah, 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 what part? She goes, well, West Africa. I'm like, yeah, what country? She's like, Nigeria. So I'm like, I knew it. You know, good afternoon, Ma. And I greeted her. And she was like, oh, my God, my daughter, you must be from our country. I'm like, oh, so sweet. So, you know, she, I came back this time around, and I don't believe her, but she looked at me and she went, you look so familiar. You know, I was like, yeah, I bought something from you a good couple of years ago. And she's like, yeah, you know, just the persona, you can, I, I remember you. I'm like, no, you don't. But it was really nice. You know, she gave me a good discount. Um, she had other earrings, but my boyfriend's um, sister had the same earrings. Like, I picked them up and I was trying them on, and he's like, oh, I think my sister has that. And I did this. I will not share with another girl. I don't think so. Uh-uh. Nope. He's like, oh, I swept it away. I swept one ear away, so she probably chucked it by now. I'm like, yeah, I don't want what she chucked already. Like, no, I'm not going to be common, you know, because I'm too good for that. <laughs> so <laughs> I dropped those, and I grabbed these, and they're very unique. I mean, if you look closely, they look like, I mean, it's just elastic. You can tell it's just stretchy, but it's just the way this flows, you know, the, the little cut right there. I just think it's so cool, and I always get compliments when I wear this. Um, the next thing I got, I got Mac. I always use Mary Kay, but I don't know. For some reason, my skin and this weather in New York haven't been getting along. So the Mary Kay, by, in like four hours, I start looking all oily and stuff. This, I get the same issue with this, but I think I'm just doing it wrong. So I got this lotion to go with it. It's um, the Studio Moisture Cream from Mac. And so I picked this up, and it's really good. It's very... Um, show you it's beautiful just to look at I just like looking at it look at how smooth that is oh so beautiful and um, if you look at that it's just the best it, it feels so nice just soft and it just disappears it's so beautiful so I got that and I got my Mac and I use um, NW43 and that's what I'm wearing right now I'm not wearing any concealer I didn't even use the lotion because I'm not going anywhere today. Um, so I didn't do anything. I just put this on, a little compact, so cute, and slapped it on, and that's what I did. And for my lips, Forever 21 sells makeup, I know, but I've never actually bought anything from them. I mean, I bought eyeshadow from Victoria's Secret. And by the way, Victoria's Secret has a really cute eyeliner on that I want to get, but I want to get the two for a deal, so I'm going to wait till I get paid. Um, but I got this. It's Love and Beauty Pink from Forever 21. And I thought it was going to be square like that. That's actually the reason I bought it because I, I love square, um, not square, but big fat circles like that for a lipstick. Like, I don't want the cute little shape. I wanted the big fat thing and I just slap it on. But it wasn't. It's actually, you know, the regular old lipstick thing, whatever. But it's, I don't know, it's different. And it smells like something from my past. Like, I'm, I get nostalgic feelings when I smell I remember my mom had a lipstick that smelled like that but it smelled it reminded me of something from my past I'll just say that um, the next thing I got was this um, I went to a college in I think it was um, 
Brooklyn College. I'm not too sure what all the schools in New York are called. And I picked this up at the fashion show they had there. Beautiful fashion show. My friend Caroline performed there. I'm going to put a, a link to her music video. Well, it's not really a music video, but somewhere you can hear the music she's done from. Um, and, like, she's just, she's really good. She performed there, so we went to support her. And um, a friend of mine's girlfriend actually put together the fashion show. She was one of the people putting it together. So there were a lot of performances. It was very African, but at the same time very American. So all these literally African-American, Nigerian-American kids, you know, designing the clothes, sewing them themselves. The models were all hot, and they were all, like, mostly African. So it was just very nice to be a part of that. So I wanted to support... Um, and the particular person that made this, because, I, I mean, I like the way... She had bigger ones, but I like this one. And I paid way too much for it, like 20 bucks or $10, $10 or something. But I wanted to support her. Um, I'm going to put a link to her website and all that stuff. She has all her details on this little card she gave me. And um, those are her designs right there. But I'll put all that on the link. Um, the next thing I got, I went to... What was it? H&M. And I picked this hat up. And I just love it so much. Like, I look so, I don't know, tomboyish when I wear this. Like, I don't know. I, you know, if I wear some big earrings or something, I, I can't wait for my locks to be longer. This will look so good when they're longer because I'll just look so Afrocentric y, punkish. I don't know. This New York style, I, I seem to go for these days. So I love this. And it was only like $7. And HM has a crap load. Just go to the boys section. I went to the one in Soho and went downstairs. And there's actually buttons that open up not really for any purpose because I'm not gonna wear it this way but if you want to you can um, and then I actually have my forever 21 receipt so I could find out I could remember how much the lipstick was the lipstick was 280 and this hairband was 280 as well because I was very broke so I wasn't about to spend more than five dollars in there and it was a good trip I went to town to meet my friends from North Carolina and they wanted to see the Forever 21 in Times Square, so that's where we got these from. This and um, and the lipstick, this. Um, I just love that little print on there. It looks like a leopard print or something. Lastly, oh my god, I got this. It's um, Rebel Fleur by Rihanna, and I went to a mall once, and I got them to spray for me at Macy's. They were trying to, you know all the testers at Macy's, like, smell this and smell this. I was like, okay, let me just smell a little bit, and I loved it so much. I couldn't afford it then, because it was like December or January. So I took that card everywhere with me, just so I could smell it every time I was bored, or I was missing home, or missing the South, anything. I just would pick that card out and smell it. And my boyfriend, I don't know, I think he secretly was making fun of me, because every time I pulled it out, he just smiled like, ugh, cheap girl. So he bought this for me. Like, I, I went to the door, I went to the, I was like, Oh, I guess my uncle got mail. And no, no, the box was for me. And this huge thing was in there. Imagine my surprise. So I got this, and um, it's got the shower gel, which smells divine. It's got a lotion. Um, then it's got this. And this is the big bottle. And it's also got... Mm, let me see. It's also got this which is the small one it comes with it. It's like a roll-on, so you just put it right here, and you see how wet it gets, and then you just smudge it. It smells amazing. Honestly, it's just to die for it. Don't go kill yourself for it, but it's, it's amazing. Honestly, like, people, people should jump on it, but they should let me have it exclusively as well. I, don't, I, I want people to buy it because it's, it's good, but at the same time, I want to be unique, if that makes any sense. Um, and lastly, I'm wearing this, um, this chain. It's like, um, I don't know. Here's what my back looks like. So it's just one of those chains. I got it from this website, Armor Jewelry, but I'll, I'll put the link on there. And um, I've had this for a while, actually. It's not part of the haul. I just wanted to show you what I was wearing. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, so you've seen my hair. It's just frizzy, so I just did this regular I always do this is my go-to style because my hair is so short it, they can barely meet in the middle and clip on and that's it I can't do anything funky yet but I can't wait to start doing funky things um so that's my haul and I'm sick so I'm gonna go get back in bed and drink some tea and get better so um I guess enjoy your week and I hope this rain stops eventually and I'm glad Osama Bin Laden is dead but at the same time I'm scared of trains 
that's my conclusion. <laughs> All right, peace, love, and. No efficient, you lack experience, I get experience, show your obedience.